Hey guys, sorry it has been a while since I posted a video last. I mean like an actual video. I know it kind of seems like my channel is, there's no really theme to it, you know? I don't make a consistent set of sorts of videos lately, that's what it seems like. And first I want to apologize that this video and probably many more in the future are going to be, I'm going to be using this camera until I can get um, a boom mic for my new camera because uh, you saw how bad the sound quality is, so... I mean, we're gonna have to deal with these black bars, so... Fucking cocksuckers. I might have to edit that part out. So I have a couple of updates I want to do before I get into this video. You guys probably remember the musical I was in last summer, and I was, like, extremely excited and proud of it. Well, I auditioned back in April for the play that um, the Civic Theater is doing this summer. I got a role. I made it in. However, I'm disappointed, uh, I guess you could say, for lack of better word. Yeah, I'm disappointed at the musical they are doing. They are doing Joseph Cuntface and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Now, if you're not aware of what this musical is about, it is basically a completely sung musical about the book of Genesis and the Bible. And it's about Joseph getting a magical rainbow-colored coat, and he interprets people's dreams and some people die and that's it also i'm really sorry if i look like a hot mess at the moment uh i'm still awake from just getting off work and i'm also a little hungover still um austin and i went to two weddings yesterday we crammed that in i went to work drunk shame on me but it actually it was very fun i had an amazing day and we actually met a gay pastor uh the guy who did the sermon thing or whatever at the wedding was gay. He came up to us and he's like, are you guys together? And I had already drank a little bit. I thought he meant, did you guys come to the wedding together? But then it finally clicked in my head and I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, I noticed your bracelet. And he told us, he congratulated us. He told us that he was very, uh, it made him feel very happy that we were, you know, out and so, like, you know, out about it, I guess. <clears throat> so that was nice. I thought I would give you guys an apartment tour since me and Austin are pretty much settled in now. Um, you know, I still completely love where we live, and I thought I would show you my place. I figured I would do a more detailed, like, bedroom tour, because right now I'm just going to show you a peek in there, because Austin's currently asleep in there. So, let's get started. So, you enter through the door, obviously. Um, we hung this picture up. It's a painting of New York that our two friends gave us. They're lesbians, by the way. There was really no need for me to add that part. Um... And so then you enter into our living room, television, which is still ridiculously small. You saw that in the first tour, um, with Xbox and my piano. I'm currently trying to get a guitar. I'm rambling now. Um, so our tree behind the TV, and we've got these cute, um, candle holder tree things. In the corner is just my tripod, which I was using to film the beginning of this video. Um, and then you go out her onto our little patio thing. It's a gorgeous day right now. Um, chairs and it's a very small porch. There's a storage shed in there. And then you have our couch and coffee table and this little get up back here it's a shelf with a um, pot and really pretty candles and a mirror and i thought the pillows on our couch were really pretty they have writing on them too but you know mm -hmm. and then we got this ghetto ass lamp which we got from someone that we work with but it's actually it's kind of pretty i'll turn it on it's nice um junk drawer over on the coffee table we have a picture of austin and his parents and there was a picture of us i have no fucking clue where it went then this candle holder thing where at the moment we're storing the corks from all of our wine bottles and there's only three right now uh over here <coughs> is the bar area <laughs> to our kitchen. <clears throat> we actually just got these bar stools. And yeah. <clears throat> our kitchen is uh, pretty messy at the moment. Um, refrigerator, magnets, nothing special really. Mm, 
ghetto dirty ass dishes. <laughs> and then up above these cabinets is where we're keeping our wine bottle at the moment. I don't know what to call this area. Oh, the dining room, yep. Mirror. Um, there's our midget kitchen table, but I think it's kind of pretty with the chandelier above it. And we got this espresso-ass clock in the background with these pretty wall decals. Mm-hmm. Computer. It's messy. In there is just a closet. In there is me and Austin's bedroom. <clears throat> That's the laundry room. And the bathroom. Which, you know, the bathroom's kind of small, but it works. Now I'm going to attempt to poke my head into the bedroom and try not to wake Austin's ass up. He is totally fucking asleep right now. Our bedroom is huge compared to our last room, and also my closet. I definitely want to do a closet tour sometime because uh, I've been spending a little bit too much money on clothes since we moved up here. I know it's bad, but I really love it, so I'd love to do that for you guys sometime. So just look for me whenever I post a video next. Um, hopefully it'll be soon, and I hope to talk to you lovelies very soon. So, ciao. Au revoir. I need a drink now.